M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Please consider subscribing if you find my channel helpful. Today we're looking at the ICOM RC15. This is the latest scanner from ICOM. It covers 108 to 500 megahertz. It's also USB-C charging, has built-in Bluetooth. It will cover bands like Airband, VHF, UHF, Marine Band, GMRS, PMR, and a lot more. So there is a thing with scanners. We do tend to have to buy the software and there are many options. And that's what this video is about, different scanner options. So I'm not going to recommend any of them. I will start off by saying, if you go for the ICOM software, you are looking around 40 pound, okay? And there are other options. We've got the Butel ARC R15. Now I've used this type of software many times and it's very good it's up there with the best and they are i think the price they're charging for this is actually really reasonable it's 20 pounds i think and 65p which is excellent there's a couple of screenshots here but there's no quick way with software you know you do have to take the time to learn this software you're not it's just i i've learned with scanners you have to be prepared to um you know really i'm just clicking on some of their links here do the learning on this because there's a lot to take in, a lot to learn about importing, exporting files. But I feel like once you've done done it uh, for a while, it does start to sink in and then you can upload, export these files very quickly. And it's a pure joy. And some of them have built in um, waterfall and band scopes. Not every scanner does. I haven't even tried this one out yet. So I, I, I'm not sure at the moment. I will, at the end of this video, I might quickly download the uh, the they do like um, a trial a trial for a month so you could download it try it out if you don't like it you don't have to buy it the other software is RT Systems now we know that RT Systems hi it's Karen at RT Systems and hi to Karen and they will make excellent software for this device and it's I think it's twenty five dollars is it yeah twenty five dollars so again around twenty pounds. I think that's excellent. And again, a learning curve that you're not going to download this and instantly know how to use it. But Karen, as you saw, makes a very clear video and I've watched it and I'm like, thanks, Karen. That's going to help me out a lot. So then we'll move over to just briefly back to the the ICOM software. Now, I've used ICOM software. And it's not that it's poor because I I've, it's pretty much works very similar on my ID51, 52. But I end up you I end up drifting back to the ARC one so but I'm not you know it's, it's a preference isn't it so let's have a quick look at the brochure and then we'll end the video so here's our brochure expand your listening horizons the new ICR15 and it looks like it has a drop-in charger the battery is a BP287 and there's a battery case for AA battery belt clip you can buy a case general specifications uh, 108 to 500 megahertz, 76 to 108 for broadcast, AM, FM, WFM. So, you know, some people might think, well, where's the D star? Where is the, I don't know, a wider frequency range, upper sideband, lower sideband? Yes, true, but you're not going to be able to buy this. If it did have all of that, there's no way you're going to get this device for £425, which is the price in the UK at the moment. It's going to be eight hundred and twenty five pounds so you've got to bear that in mind but if you're the kind of person that just likes to go to an airport you know you've got all your frequencies loaded for that particular airport and just <clears throat> listen and have a very nice you know don't forget icom items are high quality items yeah you're going to be holding one of the best quality scanners in your hand i've seen reviews and they all say that this thing is sensitive Okay, so I'll just read some of the title, titles here. Received audio savings on a micro SD card. So yes, it has a micro SD card and all of that software. You can either you send it to the radio or you can send it to the SD card. You've got the USB-C charging, uh, waterproofing. It says here, reliable to use in rainy or humid environments. Where's the IP? IPX7. Built-in Bluetooth. I wonder how good that is. You know, not so great, I would say, with the 52 but you know it is a speaker i suppose so maybe it would be okay 
and then CT, CSS, all the kind of stuff to listen to those local ham radio repeaters. And we've also got the the advanced manual. Here. And we're not going. We're definitely not going to read this whole thing. Um, but you know, all the tutorials are there because you're going to need to import. I would say CSV files. And remember, I have not done this yet. I mean, of course, adding frequencies by hand is very doable. But it is that sort of the um, the joystick type method. There's not a full keypad, uh, and there, there, you know, yeah, there just isn't. Okay. Um, so just quickly, briefly going through battery, looking for some obvious stuff there. I mean, it's so much to take in, isn't it? Tower. You've got the tower, you've got the aircraft, you've got the ground crew. Then you go into marine band, PMR, all your PMR. Remember, it's a receiver, not a transceiver. So I'll put all the links in the description. Can you please let me know your experience and which software you've used? And did you find it difficult? I've also found this person selling this this uh, preloaded uh, stick, you know, like uh, one of these type things. Look, uh, if you can see this, but it's just like a, you know, cheap stick preloaded with lots of frequencies. That's Chris there. And um, so you maybe you might want to download that. I'll put the link in. Bye for now. Hit the like, subscribe, buy my wife a coffee. 7-3, all the best. And Catch you on air. Bye for now.